Hello friends! Welcome to my Udemy course on how to make a complete game from scratch in Unity. I'm Thomas Yonitz Yellow. For this course, we will be making a Match 3 puzzle game. Some of the wildly successful Match 3 puzzle games you may have heard of or played are Bejeweled, Candy Crush, Annie Pong, Puzzle and Dragon, and Zookeeper. These games all contain a grid of matchable objects. The player must swap two adjacent objects in the grid to form a matching set of three objects in a row or column and is rewarded with an increasing score. If larger matches are formed, the player is awarded a power-up which can help them achieve an even higher score. These games are extremely simple to play, having very limited input, making them accessible to a wide audience. However, the complexity of the grid system and randomization of the options available make the games difficult to master. In this course, you'll learn how to apply coding patterns in Unity to produce a set of tools that will help you efficiently manage resources throughout the game development cycle. You'll use these tools to build a Match 3 game from scratch, learning to use many of Unity's features along the way. Unlike some other game development courses, the scripts you will write in this course will be structured, clean, efficient, and reusable for other projects. You'll learn about tools and techniques, which are over-engineered for the scope and scale of a Match 3 game, but will set you up for success for your future projects starting with efficient design that can be scaled up into a larger game. I've broken the project down into smaller pieces, so we can focus on only one aspect of the game in each lecture. I'll use a variety of approaches to tackle the various problems throughout this course, so you can follow along with each and see which approach works best for you. Sometimes I will break down a problem with pseudocode and then fill in the solution after. Other times I may start by considering how I want the experience to feel to the player or I'll start with a solution to the problem in mind and reverse engineer the solution. You'll be provided with all the assets you need to follow along with the videos, but I encourage you to try using your own assets and make the game uniquely yours as you complete the project. For more advanced learners, you could also apply this to game mechanics and code. Please feel free to experiment and implement whatever additional features you may need to create the game you want. By the end of this course, you'll have a complete Match 3 game that is ready to be published or adapted and expanded into a larger game of your own design.